when a lot of people think about a hot pepper, they think of a cayenne and that being a good pepper, but there is a ton of variations out there. And today I'm gonna to be going over one that's been a staple in my garden for the last 10 years, and that is the hot Portugal. Now, one of the great things is when you are a pepper grower, you actually start expanding the type of peppers you have and get multiple different varieties, types, variants, and whatnot. And you get to experience for yourself the whole world and scale of different peppers that are out there. And one of the common peppers that you see, especially on store shelves, powders, sauces, whatnot, are gonna be a cayenne pepper. And cayenne pepper is a great pepper, is a great spice pepper, excellent cooking. But once you get into all these different varieties, you do find out there is a lot of things out there that have a tremendous amount of flavor in them that still give you the same heat and everything as a cayenne. Now, one of the ones that I really like and has been the staple in my garden for 10 plus years, um, this, I do believe, this and maybe another, it's either first year or second year that I started, this was one of the peppers that I picked up at my local nursery and I've been growing it ever since. I love this thing. It has a burst of fruity flavor and everything when you bite into it and eat it. Um, the flavor um, is just excellent. It's just the way it actually fills your mouth. The other thing I do like is also the heat level. The heat level is going to be up there too, and it's going to be, can get up to the same thing as a cayenne, about 30,000 on the Scoville scale. Now, some of these will range and it kind of varies all over the place. And when you're taking a look online to what the average Scoville scale is, they can be anywhere from 10,000 all the way up to 30,000. So you can get just a little bit of a tingle and then you can get a nice kick depending on what type of pepper you want. But if you're Blending these all together, making a sauce and everything out of it, which I must say this is one of the peppers that I use in the majority of my personal sauces, just because I love the taste and everything of it. So, but this is a wonderful, wonderful pepper. Now, this pepper um, was made in the United States and it was created by the Harris Seed Company in 1935 and has been a staple in everything ever since. So, what we're going to do here is we'll take a look at what's inside the pepper, we'll give it a taste, and then we'll go from there. Now let's open up this Portugal and take a look at it. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking pepper, and as actually you can see, there's something tried to nibble at the top of this thing. Just a little bit, but hey, didn't hurt the pepper, so it's all that matters. Let's go ahead, I'm going to take the top of it off real fast, and let's get this thing split. As you can tell, um, on here too, just open this up. <clears throat> this has a good thick wall on it too. So that holds plenty of juices and flavor. Also the placenta on this thing, not too terribly thick, but it does have a good amount of seeds and everything on it. This pepper itself total probably has close to hundred seeds. So, but with the size and length of it, it's not that, it doesn't take up that much room. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking pepper. So, I just like it a lot. And I don't know, I can try to split that just a little bit. I don't know if you can actually see the juice is kind of pulling when I do that. But yeah, you can actually see the juice pulling out of the um, skin when I do that. So, uh, wonderful pepper. Now, here's the fun part. Let's get into tasting the pepper. What I'm gonna do, cause that's a lot of pepper to eat in one sitting, is I'm gonna cut this in two spots. One up here at the top that has the placenta and the seeds. The other one down here at the bottom. Um, that way I can get more of the flavor out of the bottom and then we'll see what the heat level and everything is. So let me cut this up. Otherwise that's a lot of pepper to eat at one time. So I'm gonna eat bottom here. And you see there's a few there's a few seeds inside there, but not much and not really any placenta. So let's go ahead and put taste this. Mm. Oh. Love this pepper. Bite into it. Really the heat just tickles just a little bit of the tongue, but it just has an explosion of flavor. I love it. 
The best way to do it is if you bite into a sweet red bell pepper, it's gonna have a very similar type of sweetness to it. But this coming out of a um, Portugal, I mean, it's just excellent, especially you got the, a little bit of the added, um, additional heat in there. It's just excellent. And like I said, the heat, a little bit that's actually in the end there, uh, it's just sitting right on top of my tongue. Not doing much or anything at all, but the whole flavor, when you start chewing it, it just kind of fills your mouth. So, love this pepper. So, okay. Well, let's go ahead, let's tie the end part. You can see the top of the placenta there, all the seeds and everything inside there. So, let's go ahead and get this one done. Mm. Well, same thing. The sweetness just fills your mouth. Juice coming out of it. Hmm. The seeds and everything. Makes it a little chewier, but not much. The flavor actually makes up for it greatly. And that one too. Heat up there with the seeds and the placenta does fill up your mouth. And it's kind of a whole mouth. You got around the size, the tongue. I don't really have anything on the roof of my mouth. As I'm swallowing, it's going back towards the back just a little bit. But the biggest thing is I still have that sweet um, flavor that's actually still from the pepper in the mouth too. So I think it, it, it's just excellent. So that's why I love this pepper in sauces, um, seasonings, and everything else. So excellent pepper. So, hmm. Awesome. All right, so now with this pepper, I mean, it is getting kind of popular. I know you can't find it in like local stores like we have Kroger here, but some of the international markets like we have a Jungle Gyms here, I've actually seen it in there um, quite a bit and you might have an international market and one be around there um, that might have it also. But the majority of places I see it is gonna be nursery, especially in the springtime when we're going looking out for plants for the house and everything else. I was browsing what they have in their Pepsar section, and it is a staple out here that I've seen in all the different nurseries and garden centers. So, very, very popular. So, you should be able, if you can't get seeds, go find the nursery. You should be able to get there without a problem. So, it's a wonderful pepper, and the only thing left to do is try to <laughs> find seeds and be able to taste it yourself. Other than that, ooh, got an ant crawling on me. <laughs> but with that, I want to say thank you very much for watching the channel. I do appreciate it very much. Hit that subscribe button, and that way you can see all the different tasting videos I'm doing. Also, if you want to hit that thumbs up button, that does help me out greatly with those YouTube algorithms. So that's an awfully helpful thing. Um, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at 13 Peppers by Ralph, or you can actually go to my website, which is 13PeppersByRalph.com. There you can actually see all the seeds I sell out of my garden year after year plus I post all the videos and everything else that I'm doing there also so with that I just want to say thank you very much and you guys have yourself a very good day